Hi everybody, it's uh, Sunday afternoon. Um, and again, a quick recap. I am doing what I like to call fat to fit. I have been on a three day countdown and this is day three of my countdown. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to change everything. I'm going to eat amazingly well. I'm going to work out and I'm going to lose 30 pounds, as I've already said, in 12 weeks. I'm going to post it all along the way uh, for people to follow and to see exactly what I'm doing to lose this 30 pounds. I'm also not going to drink alcohol for 12 weeks. And I'm going to do my best, which I didn't talk about, is cheat days. I'm going to do my very best to have as few cheat days as possible um, with the actual ultimate goal to have no cheat days for 12 weeks, which again isn't something that I normally do. But because some people are watching now, I'm going to try to go as strict as possible and see if I can maximize my fat loss and gain as much muscle as possible over the next 12 weeks. So right now, as I said today, this is about my workouts today. So I'm right now in my COVID gym. And as you can see behind me, I have two pieces of cardio equipment. One is my fancy dancy elliptical and the other one is a treadmill. I'm not going to be using the treadmill hardly at all. If I do use it at all, it'll just be for a walk. Um, as I said in my first post, I have next to no support in my right knee. And I've been told uh, repeatedly by orthopedic specialists that running is really dumb for me. So I'm going to be doing the majority of my cardio on this thing, which I hate, but um, that's what I'm going to be doing. So starting tomorrow, let's talk about the workouts now. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to hit weights. And what I'm going to do for my weight routine is I'm going to do an upper lower split. So that basically means for me, tomorrow it's going to be leg day. I'm going to do legs. I'm going to do abs with my legs. On Tuesday, I'm going to do upper body. So I'm going to run through a whole upper body routine. Um, Wednesday, I'm going to do cardio. Thursday, I'm going to do lower body again, being legs and abs. Friday, I'm going to do upper body again and finish off my week with Saturday for cardio again. Sunday will be a rest day. The following week, I'm going to actually know that I'm going to be dying after this first week. So I'm going to take one extra recovery day just initially. So I'm actually going to officially do my next weight routine next Tuesday and I'll be lower, upper, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday cardio, Friday, Saturday being Friday with uh, legs again, Saturday with upper body, and then um, Sunday will be uh, cardio again, and then I'll take Mondays off from there on out. I'm going to do my official weigh-in on this coming Sunday and every Sunday thereafter. So the first weigh-in is going to be six days later because I'm doing my official weigh-in tomorrow being Monday morning. Um, the reason why I pick Sunday is honestly it'll just be easier to, to film that because I'm going to do that live every week. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to walk you through just one workout um, and then I'm going to post all my workouts um, and sporadically throughout the course of this time frame. I'm going to actually have you view an entirety of my workout. Obviously, I won't make you watch the rest periods, uh, but I want you to just kind of see what I do. And I'm going to show you all the different workouts. So my two leg workouts of the week are going to be a little different. I'll do a little different variant of a workout on my first day, different workout on the second day. And my upper body routines are going to be a little different each of the two days. Um, one thing I'll tell you is tomorrow being leg day, um, for those of you that have worked out or haven't, um, I hate it. Um, legs are hell, um, really bad. And especially when you first start out, you can lose the entirety of your ability to walk, um, at least for me. So what I'm trying on the first week is I'm going to try to maintain my ability to walk by going at about 90% effort. Um, and that'll only be for the first week. From there on out, it'll be 100%. But honestly, um, a really important thing for me to be able to do is to be able to lower and raise my body from a toilet seat. Um, and I have found in the past that uh, that became next to impossible after my first couple leg days. So uh, the majority of my 
legs and upper body are going to be focused on big compound movements. I'm going to focus the entirety of this routine around squats, which I hate, which means they're good. Deadlifts, which again, I hate, also good. Uh, bench press, either dumbbells or the barbell bench press. Um, and a lot of rows um, is gonna be the majority of my uh, workouts with some supplement, supplementary uh, uh, single arm movements uh, to finish things off. But the majority of it is gonna be focused on a big compound, kill yourself, terrible, painful stuff. Um, again, I'm starting the first week 90%, but I'm an 100% guy, so I will tell you that when I get going on this, I will be doing as heavy weights as I can possibly do um, with after I go through all the warm-ups and stuff that I'm going to do. Um, and I'm gonna try to be injury free. Um, but I'm and I'm gonna focus on form. Sorry, I'll add that to it. Form is incredibly important. But with all those being said, I'm gonna maximize what I can lift and force my body to grow the best that I can. Um, so here's what it's gonna look like as a sample routine tomorrow. I'm gonna come down here. I may be crying because it's gonna be bad. I'm gonna hop on this thing. I'm gonna do moderate intensity for about six minutes just to heat up my body so that I can try to avoid pulling a muscle. By that point, I already wanna give up, but I will not. I will move over to this rack um, and I will do a couple warm up sets of squats. And for week one, I will probably do four work sets of squats. Again, I'll post all this, but once I'm done my four work sets of squats, I'm gonna go into deadlifts. And again, I'll post all this. I'm gonna do four sets of deadlifts. I am then gonna do walking lunges down the entirety of my hallway, which you cannot see here very well, but I'm gonna do walking lunges. I'm just gonna do one set tomorrow of walking lunges. I'm gonna do a couple sets of calves, and then I'm gonna do about four or five sets of abs tomorrow. That'll be it tomorrow. Um, I'll increase my volume, like I said, week two, my volume's gonna go up a little bit on all of this stuff, but uh, that's what it's gonna look like tomorrow. Um, that should take me, tomorrow should be about a 40 minute workout only. Um, the rest of the time after week one, my workouts will probably range between uh, 50 minutes to one hour for my weight routine. Um, and then I'll talk quickly now about my cardio. So on my non-weight training days, only two days a week am I gonna do cardio um, and I'm gonna do interval training. So again, you can look all that up. Um, interval for me and how I like to do it is I'm gonna go on this sucker for 25 minutes. I'm gonna start with a three minute warm up and then I'm going to go as fast as I humanly can on this thing for one minute. And then I'm gonna slow down for a minute and then I'm gonna go as fast as I can for another minute. And I'm gonna do that all the way to 23 minutes. At the 23rd minute, I'm going to just cool down for two minutes. Cardio done. Sounds simple enough, but again, I swear to you, the reason why I do interval stuff is not only is it a little bit shorter but more than anything, it kills me. And anything that kills me, I know, for me, makes me stronger. Um, so this one's, this one's uh, gonna be tough, but that's pretty much what I'm gonna do for my cardio. I will tweak this every now and again as I go through this, uh, in the sense that on the seventh day, the odd time, if I'm finding I'm not losing enough weight, I will probably add um, active rest, what they call active rest. And I may add like a 45 minute walk on the treadmill on that off day. Um, but most days it'll be six days a week with a seventh day rested. So that's really it for the routine. Um, I know that some of you may not have a gym um, as robust as this, so you can modify accordingly, but I have built this up. Like I said, I started to build this gym last uh, summer and I have an okay gym to do every single thing that I need. And that's the plan. So stay tuned later. I'm going to um, just post exactly what I'm going to be doing, uh, including my rest periods, exactly how many sets, every single exercise, 
Um, again, last single stress one more time. Form is everything. I know that. And you cannot go light. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, a lot of low rep stuff. Um, and again, 100%. That's the only way to do this is I give 100% and I'm going to give 100% with the exception of this week, which is 90%. But even the 90% this week is going to feel like 150%. Trust me. I'm going to be sore for the next week and I'm going to uh, talk to you probably about that. Again, you may be crying. Uh, expect it. But I'm going to make it through this journey. And again, I can only challenge you all to join in. Click subscribe, second time I get to say that. Please share this with anybody and everybody. Um, again, stay tuned tomorrow morning when I post my official weigh-in. I am going to take this shirt off for everybody. I don't want that to scare you, but it's reality. I'm gonna show you and turn around on video to let you know exactly what I look like. I will keep my bottoms on though, because that's inappropriate, some say. And um, then every week thereafter, like I said, on Sundays, I'm going to do another weigh-in. I'm going to show you workouts as we go along through this. I'm going to show you some of the meals as we go along on video. Um, I'm going to keep you as informed as I can throughout this. And we are going to do this, or at least I am, and I hope you join in. So stay tuned tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow bright and early at probably 6 o'clock-ish. One more time. I'm John Wardell. I'm going to be 47 years old in February. I have let myself go and I am going to do fat to fit in 12 weeks, showing you exactly what I'm doing. This is not a joke. Again, I'm going to lose 30 pounds. I'm going to not drink any alcohol whatsoever. I'm going to do my best to not have any cheat days. Although I can't promise that, but I'm going to do my best and I'm going to be brutally honest if I do. And I'm going to work my butt off. And I challenge you to do the same. I'll see you tomorrow for weigh-in.